<laughs> Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, if you know us. How are we all doing? Welcome to the Saturday stream and a perfectly timed delivery from Jules saying hello, mate. Thank you very much, Jules. And some bits, 50 bits from Get Get Runk, Get Crunk with Hello Squirrel. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, Welcome yeah. to the all day stream. I said to you yesterday that I was playing something nice and relaxed and then Saturday afternoon I was going to do something more stressful. Well, here you are. The Dark Holiday. Hello, Paul. Hope you're doing well. This extra hour is messing with my world. Happy to get back in track tomorrow. I can only imagine. Thank you, Doc Holiday. Dave, 201, 33 months. Damn, 33 months. So crazy. Where's the time gone? I heard you want to be a PUBG professional streamer, Squirrel Roth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JDMR, thank you for the resume. Well, tomorrow, Doc Holiday, I think I think the world's back in unison, isn't it? And the time scales and stuff. Uh, Apple Gamer, I'll be back on iRacing probably in a couple of weeks. I've got I've got one problem with iRacing at the moment. I need to show you something with iRacing. Oh, so this button box here, this button box here was mounted onto the side of my wheel in this panel here, like that. So that goes in there, basically mounts in. And it was, you know, all tucked away in the corner. And I was getting something out of a box and I, I leant against this thing just slight, just ever so slightly. And then these pieces here, which go there, which is the hole that bolts it to the actual uh, Fanatec base, it just sheared off. It just went like that, and the whole thing just fell off. So if you actually look at this thing, it's a bit of a naff design, really, because there really isn't... There really isn't much... Like, this, this is just solid plastic, right? So there really isn't much to stop this. There's an awful lot of... An awful lot of torque that can be had from here. And really, just a small amount of very brittle plastic to stop it from wrenching off. Now, you could glue it back on, but there's no way it's going to hold it. So, what I've done is... What I've done... and I mean, it's quite thick plastic, to be fair. It's got to be about 7mm or something, maybe 8mm. But it's very brittle. It needs to be more flexible. So what I did was I went to Open Sim Racing, where I got them from. Oh, hello. Randomly tab out the game. Uh, and downloaded the template for this thing. He does a template, thankfully. Uh, I've sent it off to Mr. David Olibido, who's brought it into his CAD package, and is now cutting a prototype. And then we're going to send it off. Because there's many companies that can do um, jet cuts uh, jet cut aluminium, which will be a lot, lot thinner and a lot stronger. So the bottom line is, I'm going to replace this. I'm going to replace. I'm going to get two done because it's identical on both sides. It sits on either side of the wheel like that. I'm going to get two of them done, which will be a lot thinner, a lot stronger, and then I'll be back in action. <clears throat> so yeah, naff design to be honest. Sound acrylic glue with a load uh, patch on the back, steel self bobber. I guess you could uh, you could probably temporarily get it working again, but I kind of think that it's you know it's only a matter of time before it snaps. So I think I'd rather have a metal back plate if I'm honest. New expansion battle for Azeroth. You need to play WoW again and have some play with you in PvP raids. Will be a good community event for Thursdays. Not going to happen, Great Mew. I'm not going back to WoW. I've already said that. Oh yeah, I need to put the mature flag on for this game, don't I? I did indeed forget that this is a mature game. Let me find inappropriate for younger audiences flag. Ticked. Let me find my M rating. M for marvelous. This game is a mature game. If you've got young people watching, you may want to switch over. 
It's a parental responsibility thing. This is a mature game. The mature flag is now on. There are scenes of urinating and swearing in Finnish in this game. As well as possible blood if I manage to kill somebody. Which I'm sure won't happen. They're releasing a classic version of WoW with all the updates rolled back to the original release. Oh my god. People need to remember just how grindy WoW was and the, like, levels 1 to 16 in the original WoW were a serious grind. Like nothing like now. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Sharky, for 38 months. Word to Killer with 14. Keep it a great work. Thanks for the awesome streams. You are welcome. Banana Man, 109, 8 months. Woohoo! One month until Twitch, baby. Joe the Huntsman with a resume. I don't think I've missed anybody. You're certainly not mature, so I should leave. <laughs> Right, there's been some changes to this game, as you're probably aware if you've watched my um, YouTube series. So one of the first things we're going to have to do is go and put the oil filter back in, and the battery probably, because it's been a while since we've played. And both things have probably been removed. Yes, indeed, there's no battery here. And no oil filter. What a surprise. Yeah, WoW is uh, World of Warcraft, not World of Warships. WoW was the original acronym. World of Warships. Sorry, World of Warcraft. Where's my battery gone? Where's my battery gone? Wait a second, was it in here? No, I'm not seeing a battery. To the nut house. Hmm. Uh, it's on the floor. There it is. No idea what charge state it's in. You're so excited about WoW Classic Sapiens. I think a lot of people are going to play it just for the nostalgia, you know? I think a lot of people will do that. JE9900. <coughs> welcome to the Nethouse, JE. Thank you for your support, and thank you for giving JE a lovely nutty welcome. Did anyone get a Steam notification? Um, one was sent out, Gravity. But considering we got 10 yesterday, maybe it's... Uh, Maybe it backed off a little bit. Where's my filter gone? Make sure that's screwed in. Jules! Are we there yet, Kappa? Almost Jules, nearly. Dead Wolf Gaming, one for one. Good afternoon, Paul. Gonna be away for a few weeks after tomorrow, building my new audio set uh building my new studio and setup. Can't wait. Dead Wolf, I don't know what studio it is, but if you want to tweet me a picture when it's done, I'll be interested to see that. <laughs> Best of luck with it. We already got a private server vanilla guild good to go whenever it's released. Wow. Original wow. When does that come out then? Steam is doing a Twitch. It really did yesterday. Yesterday I created the Steam notification and it went out like 10 times or something. You never got into true vanilla wow. The Sapiens. I played it before Burning Crusade, but I wasn't like back back into the super original. You know, the original kind of Nax Ramus type stuff. I wasn't there for that. One of my favourite dungeons, though, is the... Um, the de favourite raids is the... What's it called? Oh, Memory Banks. Come on. The one with um, Little Red Riding Hood. What's that called? That ra I love that raid. And they re-released re it, didn't they? But I never played it as it was originally vanilla. What are my thoughts on Mudrunner? I can't wait to see what they do with it in the future. Karazhan, that was it. Karazhan. Or Karazhan. Karazhan. Such a great raid. Uh, they said it's a massive project. They think it's in the process of hiring an own team to work on that version. So this is not something that's going to come soon, then. When you play Master of Car, can you have the car hitting Wubbub as a donation animation? <laughs> yes, I'll just, I'll just quickly knock that up for you. Car was the first ride in Burning Crusade. Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was so enjoyable, so enjoyable to play. Run away, little girl! <laughs> Run away! I love it. Right. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing? 
oil. Let's check the dipstick in a second. Oil filter is in. Let's put the battery back and see if this thing actually starts. Yeah, you see, I didn't like it later on when you start... Like, for me, it started to become more more vehicle-based raids where you'd, you'd always be, like, getting on top of things and, like, riding vehicles in. And I was like, meh. I don't want to do that. I want to play my character, not some, like, thing I have to sit on and shoot stuff with. I, that's when I started, to me, I started to lose my interest in WoW. Do you enjoy your Mackie Mixer? I don't use it. You're going to go through a high-level setup for a podcast, thinking EV RE320, -E but trying to find a good interface. Uh, I don't use the Mackie Mixer Sapiens. I use the Motu Ultralight Mark IV now. And the main difference between that and a, a mixer like the Mackie is the Mackie has physical sliders and stuff, whereas with the Ultralight, it's very compact and you do it all through a web browser. You slide, but you can route any channel to any channel. It's very, very flexible, very compact, but you don't have, you can't just reach over and physically slide something. You just need to have a browser open on a screen and just slide it that way. Ooh, I've gone smaller. Whoa. What size should it be? Let's go with probably a bit more. Um, a bit like that. See, the problem is I'm in the way of the delivery doodad. Maybe I should sit behind that. How about that? Happy anniversary, Natter. <laughs> sit behind the delivery name. No. I don't know if I sit there like that. So it looks weird if I sit in front of it, but if I sit behind it. <laughs> it's just very odd if I sit behind it. If I sit there, I may as well not have the delivery name. I will just sit there, whatever. Sorry, Jules. Valmet, 16 months. Mr. Stillman, good afternoon, Paul. Happy to be so for another month. Thank you for 19. 19 months. You can never have too much, Paul. Lol. Uh, what time of day is it? It looks like sunset. Yes, that looks like the end of the day to me. Uh, because I've been talking too much and not getting anything done. Let's check the dipstick. Hmm. Reasonable amount. Wouldn't hurt to have a little top up here. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check if I actually bolted in that nitrous. It looks like it did. I know I did a classic thing on my YouTube video where I didn't actually bolt the nitrous together. No, I don't like having cameras like upper left and stuff. It just looks very, very odd. See, because this is on the stream, I don't know where we are with this profile. Like, I've no idea. No idea what toolkits we've got, what bits and pieces we've bought. Looks like we've got the old toolkit, so we're going to have to place an order and get some new stuff going. Uh, number five spanner. No mature flag again. Uh, it looks like it's not on that scene. Hang on. There you go. Which means on this scene, I'm going to turn it off, because then otherwise I'll forget to turn it off later. Like that. that chat looks like it's in the wrong place to me. Yeah, whatever. What am I doing? Just re, re... Re... Trying to remember where I was up to with this. Yeah, that's definitely bolted in. There we go. Definitely bolted in. What's stress level, fatigue level? Uh, let's see. 
can we do between sunset is getting near wow 9 p.m blimey okay let's make a plan is that thing burbling away it is a bizarre sim have you got the fireworks in the log cabin that's still bubbling uh, the fireworks will be in the log cabin for sure. 20 cigarettes left. Wow. That's quite low. Let's go and have a look at the catalogue. 8,500 money. Uh, no, Ruben. Today I'm going to play my summer car, then we're going to play some more Skylines later. You go to landfill and steal the drunk guy's money. Yeah, you see, there's some things I've not done yet that we need to do. There's another vehicle we can steal as well, isn't there? That's true, Harm. We're going to get a bill now, aren't we? You've got to be all... I don't get this. Like, in the 90s, you've got to be all, like, eco-friendly now and turn things off. Otherwise, you get a big fat bill. You didn't live like this in the 90s. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He needs a screwdriver to steal it or to win it in blackjack. So we need to take our toolkit with us. We need to go and post a letter anyway in the morning, I think. Uh, Paul, just remember when you too much skylines. What does that mean, beginning? Jules, squirrel cry. What's up, Jules? <laughs> That's because your name's hidden. Oh, man. It's all hidden. That's outrageous. Maybe we'll have to sit here then. As a compromise. Maybe that'll work. Or maybe I'll just put myself back over there in the corner. There you go. Happy now? Right, let's go and sleep. Uh, just popping to say, Hi, my summer can't scan. Not my kind of game. So bye again. Alright, Benner. See you later, bro. I was about 10 years old, mid-90s, and I can testify that my dad very much did care about leaving the lights on around the house. Well, yeah, but that's because he's your dad. Dads always care about that stuff. Because oh, yeah, yeah. the dad is the guy paying the bill. <laughs> but we're meant to be a teenager, so we don't care about those things. Wait, is the phone plugged in? All right, weird boy. Enjoy walking the dog. Welcome back, Nutter. You've, I take it you've never seen this game before, Sapiens. Oh, it gets a lot worse than that. Happy anniversary, Nata. This is something that most people have never done before. <laughs> Draken with a year. <laughs> One year hype, Draken. Happy anniversary. Thanks for 12 months. Okay. All the bars sorted. A cheeky save there, I think. A shower beer. Yeah, you can have a shower beer. But we can have a shower sig, because we're amazing. You miss one, but not the month of charge. So how will it work, Crawley? Like, if you're, do you have to be, if you're already a subscriber to Warcraft, do you get to play Vanilla Wild for free? 
And if you just want to play vanilla, do you have to take out a subscription to Warcraft? Like, is that how it works? Right, let's figure out what we're doing here. Oh, the moz. Bugs, eh? Two months. I'm only a new sub, but watch for ages. Love the content. Keep it up. Thank you for everything. Bugsy, thank you for the second month. I'm sorry I missed it, but as you'll get to work out, I often miss things. <laughs> Don't take it personally. I will catch up because people won't let me miss things. Yeah, the sauna's turned off. You don't, I don't use the sauna anymore. Now you can get showered to get clean. What's the point of the sauna? Let me quickly copy that save game. Happy anniversary, so we don't have to do all that stuff again if something bad happens. And you know, bad things never happen in this game. Catalog. <clears throat> Rice card eager. Hey, thank you for 11 months. Um, let's see. We don't have the new hi fi system installed. We have the nitrous injector kit. We have all the seats. We need to work up to this new spring thing. Nine and a half K is going to take a little bit more money, I think. So we're going to have to do some jobs, but we can order the hi-fi and get that out of the way. Happy Did we not have blackened windows? Matter. I thought we had blackened windows. Oh. I guess not. Uh, Eastmo, thank you for 34 months, Eastmo. So yeah, I've never tried these new shocks yet, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, but I can't afford it yet, so we'll just put that in the bag. Um, <clears throat> we need to take this to be... So where can we... What's the best vehicle to go in if you want to nick this guy's money? This blackjack thing. Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put that there a sec. Yeah, I didn't black the windows now. Oh, and apparently they've changed it so that if you put the, the airfoils on now, it actually changes the lift if you can't, sir. So. Uh, Duke1824 with eight months. What a great day. Starts uh, my summer car stream. Thanks for the great eight months. You're welcome, Duke. Thank you. You should order the shocks now and pay for them when you have enough money sales on the extra trip, Captain Jack. I think it's nine and a half. Can, can we afford it, though, Captain Jack? I mean, I guess... I guess you're right, actually. Probably makes more sense, doesn't it? Alright, let's do that. Let's go with that and that. And... That. And... New shock hype. Well, that's got to be about at least 12 grand's worth of order, though. Something like that. It's going to be a lot of money. So we're going to have to go and work. You can get that by boat. Really? Well, not to... Yeah, there's a post office you can get by boat, but I'm not taking the boat up there. I might go and do some sewage jobs on the way, then. Um, Let's pop that in there. We'll take the toolkit as well, just in case we need that screwdriver. Do a log run and fuel. Make that in no time. I have faith in you. Uh-huh. Well, I'm thinking we'll do some sewage jobs because there's at least three need doing. One second, referee. Shut that. Uh, Skylines later. Referic. With 100 bits since I'm going to London on the 1st of December until the 4th, I'm deciding on what to eat. British breakfast, oh, definitely. But for dinner, since I'm a Dutch person, uh, I do have to choose between Cheeky Nando's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Mackey D, Spare Ribs, Grill Restaurant, Indian Food, Kappa, TGI Fridays. Oh my, do you have some thoughts on what to eat in London for dinner for a Dutch person? Well, you're basically hitting all the major outlets there. There are so many fantastic restaurants in London that if you're going to come here, like, do you like Thai food? Let, let me ask you that question. Do you like Thai food? Uh, or, or do you like um, le uh, Lebanese food? 
because I know two great places near Oxford Circus and uh, Tottenham Court Road if you do. I, I would recommend that you stay away from the big chains like Pizza Hut and just get some proper food, <laughs> quite frankly. Jules, Channel 5 and has already started Christmas movies already. Jules, Mrs. Squirrel's been watching them for over a month on Christmas 24. Get with the plot, man. You look, Of course you love Thai food, coconut. I love Thai food. Right, so now we have to put our seatbelt on. Otherwise, if we don't, it's a finable offence by the police. Uh, Stefan, thank you for three months. Crawley Snipe. Hello, Paul. I think most of the MMOs have gone to free-to-play, but to play the full game, then you have to pay. I'm playing a bit of uh, Guild Wars 2 right oh, now, yeah, yeah. and that's how it's going. Love your streams on YouTube. I think you're right, Crawley. I think you're right, mate. It's all gone to free-to-play, but thank you very much for the um, for the delivery. One thing I need to do, guys, is let's go and check where we're going. See, so get in. Right, so if you go to. Uh, go to. It's easier from Tottenham Court Road, actually. The place is called Thai Metro, right? It's called Thai Metro. If you look at it in Time Out magazine, it'll have great reviews. It's not. It's not like a restaurant where you spend a lot of money. Thai Metro is really good food, really cheaply. For the middle of London, you're not going to get anything better, quite frankly. But it's, so, it's not a massive place. It's on two floors, on the ground floor and the basement. It's quite small. Like I say, it's not lavish. I mean, this is Thai, but the food is fantastic. It's called Thai Metro. It's near Tottenham Court Road. There's another, there's a Lebanese place um, on Oxford Street, just behind the main shops. I'm trying to think how to describe it to you. Um, it's it's like, oh, it's, it's hard to explain. It's about 150 meters from Oxford Circus east and then north one street, but I don't know what it's called. Uh, I've not, because you know. Right, so we need to go down the corner here, and then we need to get to outside of the mechanic. And then we need to post a letter. Right, let's do this. Also, while we're going to make a trip, we might as well take the diesel tanker thingy. Has anybody spotted or, or noticed that the price of diesel has gone up in this game, and it takes longer to fill it up? Because I'm pretty certain it has, and it, and it costs more money now. Hmm. Well, I assume it's in here. But yeah, the Lebanese food is, is quite... Um... Where's a diesel one? Where's my, le Where's my letter gone? Oh my god, game. Seriously. I've not even moved the truck and the letter's disappeared. Are you actually serious? My summer physics. Right, what's the uh, fuel level's good actually? So one thing I've noticed about the dev is he puts these little changes in. He doesn't tell anybody. I'm going to show you another one in a minute. Um, Sean five five seven five. Thank you. The resume. Referee, I don't know. Never ate Thai food, but I like somewhat spicy. Well, you like Thai food then? It will turn out to be cheeky Nando's, as I heard many great things on this stream. Yeah. Try Nando's. Nando's is good. Definitely worth a try. Um, but I thoroughly recommend Thai Metro. Let's just hope that letter stays there, Captain Jack. Mr. Kinducci, how you doing, bro? The advisor gives good reviews. See, so gettings. Go and see what it says about um, uh, Time Metro. I used to go there every Friday. I love that place. Probably Michael Brown. It probably is, mate. Do you use a phone case on your S8? I have a. I have a, uh, like a, a rubbery, transparent plastic one, so it's quite grippy, but you can see the colour of the phone on the back, and it goes around the edge. 
That's what I use. I wanted something minimal but protects it. I also have a screen protector skin on as well. Not a glass one though. Uh, Crawley Snipe, some people have obviously been watching the Blizzard announcements, so they were just saying, oh, you're going to play WoW again, blah, 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 we can start a guild. Spider-Man Clash Branch changelog is always updated when there are significant features. Yes, but Marty, <clears throat> he doesn't post them all. This is what I'm saying. Time and time again, I have spotted things changing in this game that are never mentioned in the changelog. Like stuff in the scenery that happens. Okay, I'll show you one down here. 4.3 star review on Time Metro. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, you won't be disappointed. I used to go there every Friday. I used to get food every Friday. If we went out, I'd often go there on a Friday evening as well. It's just great, great Thai food. And it's not expensive. Okay, so look at this now. Look at this. Look at all these trees here. All these bushes now blocking visibility. Look. Pure scumbaggery. Pure scumbaggery. All the way down the track as well. How do you define not expensive? Well, let me put it this way. If you're... If you're in... Um, Tottenham Court Road area and you go to... Let's say you go to Pret, pret a manger right? You go there and you get a sandwich and a coffee. And a packet of crisps. Sandwich, coffee and a packet of crisps for your lunch. Let's say you do that. That will cost you... Well, a sandwich in Pret is about four quid, depending on what you buy, unless you buy Scottish salmon or something. Um, coffee's going to cost you at least 250 A packet of crisps is going to cost you probably one fit. It's probably going to be about eight quid, something like that. You could go to the Thai Metro and you could get yourself a proper Thai hot meal for less than that. On a Friday lunchtime at Thai Metro. <clears throat> uh, Resort World near the NEC has a Nando's 2 ball. Why didn't we go there? Um... Probably because I think we went to... Oh, I know why. It's because I went out with the Aces guys on the Saturday night and I wasn't there on the Friday night this time, Baz. I think that was it. Normally I'd be there both days, but I, I had it a double butt with Gamescom, if you remember. So far, the letter's in the back. The farm sim, the farm sim fan with 15 months just popped in to hit the magic button. Now I'm off to work till 11. Okay, have a good day, farm sim fan. Thank you for the 15 months. Which bank do I use? I use Halifax and Lloyd's, but I'm probably going to change away from Lloyd's. Okay, let's get some money. Mm, it's a bit close, but we should get away with it. Welcome back, Nutter. Bushes are still floating. I think he's left them on purpose. He's got to fix that by now easily. Oh my god. Go on, in you go. In you go. There we go. Don't lose the pipe. I don't know what you mean. Deserves a beer. <laughs> hey! How we doing? Chatty as ever. Nice day today, actually.
Drinking on the job, absolutely. You gotta stay sane somehow. Look at the clothes they were. Look like I mean I remember this, white socks. The whole white sock thing. Sports socks, even though you had shoes on. Shortly after that came shell suits. I don't know if anybody remember them. Oh yes, you can fall into the tank and die, absolutely. Electric Jimbo, two months. I watched your YouTube channel for a while, but I just made it to jump to Twitch last month. Happy to be a proud member of the Night House. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Elastic Jimbo. Welcome. Cross home. Thank you for the resume. Should be about two and a half thousand litres. So, two one. Should be getting ready to hand us some money. Yeah, black shoes and white socks. That's 1,200. That's going to get me some new shocks, mate. Shell suit and a bum bag. Oh, what a combination, eh? Did you know that septic tanks are sanitised and work double jobs as milk pump trucks delivering milk from Rome to pasteurised factories? I didn't know that. That sounds pretty grim. Sounds like something that health and safety wouldn't allow. Doesn't matter how many times you sanitise that truck, you shouldn't be doing those kind of jobs and milk. I don't think. I'll, I'll leave the lid for you, pal, okay? Don't fall in. Have a nice day. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work either. That worked. Oh boy, that's different as well. That, he definitely put a bigger drop there. He goes around remodeling things. He definitely remodeled that. I've been doing that for months. Yes, it's experimental build. Well, there goes the windshield. <laughs> Irish Winter, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Paul Hopper as well. In your opinion on the new Razer phone? Well, from one, I, I read one review, okay? I, w I read one review. I think it's an interesting concept, and they clearly thought about what they wanted to do before they made it. So by all accounts, it's got a big 4,000 milliamp battery on it, and it's basically a phone aimed at gaming. And all credit to them, I think they've done a decent job, because they obviously knew what they wanted to build, and they built it. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm not a mobile gamer at all. Um, but I think for people that are, it's definitely worth looking at. And it's quite a stylish looking phone as well. It is, Leanna, it's a drastic approach to cleaning the window. Oh, just heard the train go past. So whereabouts is this, um, whereabouts is this blackjack guy? Is he over near the antenna somewhere? Look, he had that seatbelt on the while you're probably lying on the road in front of the truck. I've used a seatbelt ever since I learned to drive. Always. Without fail. It's near the antenna, okay. We'll go and check it out. Might check it out on the way back from posting this letter. Do you think we should try the gambling thing? That's new as well, I think. Do you think we should try the gambling thing, or try and steal the money? What do you think we should do? I don't know how you fix the screens in them, actually. No idea.
it's an awkward one this now, isn't it? Eh? Steal the money. You bunch of thieves. I can't believe you guys. Let's try that. bit further we want you to learn how to steal money uh-huh <laughs> okay let's try that takes ages to gamble up to the car That's green. Where's the end? There it is. I'm amazed this thing doesn't get in a knot, to be honest. The only thing you've accidentally stolen is a, a towel from your hotel. Dude, I've got a little memento for you. Little prize. There you go. It's a beer mat. And it's all yours, okay? It's your beer mat. And that's from me. That's a gift, that is. You can just steal the car, but the car's pants anyway, Penfold. It looks fun. Wow. House isn't very well kitted out. Looking for 5,000 litres. It's an early Christmas present. That's exactly what it is. June 1911. 51 months, due. 51. Just finished watching the fireworks vid. Then get the notification. Thanks to the entertainment scroll. You're welcome, Jew. Thank you for 51 months, dude. It's insane. Listen, I think you owe me some money for the beer mats. I did tell you it was a gift, but I was lying. There we go. 1,200 marks for the beer, will do. Thank you, sir. This game lets you stick your head through houses because this game physics is not the best. That's why. But that's part of the charm. Ooh, that was close. I almost snapped it. Mr. Referick, Operation What's for Dinner, Three Nights to Eat, 15 Recommendations to Visit. Now, just kidding. Uh, I'm creating my game plan. Uh, Time Metro is definitely on it now. Second day, Chicken Endos. Have to go there, too. You're welcome. You are welcome, sir. There are some great, great places to eat in London, like truly fantastic places. Um. Oh, you should check out... Uh, See, most of the stuff I know is in the is in the TCR Oxford Circus area. There's one round that there's one near the Time Metro, not far away, and it's like a it's a pub, and they serve they serve um, <clears throat> pies which are which they make on site themselves, and they're in a like a stone dish with like the biggest pastry on top, and you have to they only make so many a day. So you have to get there and book early because it gets fiercely busy. But the pies are just craygasm. Like, they really are really nice. But I can't remember the name of the place. It's my thoughts on the iPhone X. It's not for me. I know Dre's bought one. It's arrived yesterday. I personally think it's overpriced. 
It's too much money for a phone. I don't need a seatbelt, I'm only going here. Well, this pub has been making these pies for like decades. It's, it's so well known. I know where it is, but I can't tell you what it's called because I can't remember.